All right, it's going to be a day of working on the uh, cowboy's face, improving it, hopefully. We'll see how this turns out. Okay, it took a few minutes for me to gather all the tools I need. I'm going to take his hair off because I want to redo that anyway. This side of his face was just a little too, well, wider than it should be. Alright, you may be hearing the uh, landlord's lawnmower in the background. His uh, little garage is right behind my house here, where he stores them. Now I have the camera right in front of me, giving you the view hopefully, that I have. And, uh, I hope my hands don't cover too much. One of the first things I need to do is change the angle of his eyes. He's going to be looking at her in a different direction, so I've got to uh, indicate that by the eyelids. Your pupil of your eye has a shape to it, and when you're looking in a particular direction, your eye, upper eyelid reflects that. Using one of my homemade latex tools, I'm just touching the clay. I'm not pressing it hard at all. I'm moving molecules instead of large amounts of clay. I don't want to give him too many wrinkles in the head, forehead, because he is young. But in some respects, it shows emotion. Even if they're ever so light.
All right, it's time to put the ear on. The top of the ear should match, for a young person, the top of their eyebrow, and the bottom of the ear should match the top, bottom of their nose. Now, as you get older, that changes. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the hair. And uh I got the hair to a point where I like it. Now I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. I'll add a little more detail to it later, but right now I just want to clean it up a little bit with the uh, Ronsonol lighter fluid. As you can see, there's a couple of areas when I look at the clay at a different angle, I can see a couple little holes that need to be filled. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And especially underneath the hair, what I, which I made right there. And uh, so I'm going to take a little wedge of clay, because I can't have that deep undercut. It would uh, make it very difficult to make a mold of this. Okay, the uh, neck has been changed so often that uh, I got to redo the uh, top of the neck so that the clay of the head will fit in properly. And uh, okay, I hope I get this right. All right, let's do that now. Let's check it all the way around. Head could go up a little all bit. Right. The head's back on. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I like the uh, positioning. I put the guitar back on because I just want to see how it looks with the guitar. It all works out well that way. Uh, I added a little piece of hair that will probably cause them to say a couple of swear words when they make a mold but 
I think it's not enough to make it trouble. I know that when I did that with the uh, Indian lady that I sculpted, I asked if that would uh, be a hard thing to cast, and they said, nah, it'll be easy. So I'll let it go for that because I like that loose feeling of the hair right there like that. And uh, it kind of adds something to it. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Uh, I will not be here tomorrow because I've got uh, some running around i got to do. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, we'll see you next Monday. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.